it's caught in the crossfire. It's caught in the 30 foot DS RV. Woo woo. This is my new T Bar bus. It is a double wide. Uh, it's amazing and it's crazy. I just bought this so shower. Um, it's here's the double pull out right here. Um, it's out there. Here's a bed up here that turns into a bed that turns into a bed. We got double refrigerators here. Shower up. So I'll show you that double refrigeration. Oh. Yeah, so also, you know, stove, everything. So this is absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. So another TV right here. Let's go. This one's not this, but I have a bunch of them on yours. That sounds so simple. No, I just bought an RV. No, you didn't. Stop it. Let me see. Where's it at? $183,000. So. Aaron, why are you lying to your friend and saying that it was over a hundred thousand dollars for you to get into this fabulous RV? Why are you lying to your friend Winter? Because I'm about to show no, what a liar you it? are. It was, but they gave it to this to me for this. That looks like a killer deal. One thousand one hundred and forty-seven thousand dollars, nine hundred ninety-nine dollars. That is a steal. Hey, However, you not yeah. yours. It's going down. You won't fly. You won't drive it to Florida. I'm almost there. They said, "Well, you're back with Melanie. You guys like being trolled." Well. <laughs> Practice what you preach, and maybe we won't show you. I make you our bitches. They get trolled. They get trolled. Haters. Fuck out of here, bitch. But my dogs. Bro, I'm telling you, it's got. It's fucking dope as shit. I don't know. Got like a main bathroom. And then, like. What'd you say? Does it have like a main bathroom and then bunk beds? Yes, it has a master bedroom, a queen size, and it's a pullout. It's a double pullout with an oven, gas, like so everything I could possibly need. And I, I, the dogs bring them on tour, you know, whole family is there. Bro, that's perfect. You know? Yeah. You set up studio, you know, it's comfortable, very comfortable, much more comfortable than, you know, being in, um, like, you know, my black pickup truck that was right there. What up? I, I gotta go handle this. All right, All right buddy. Uh, done. Let's see. I'm oh, sorry, I'm on Instagram live. What's happening? Um, so, I'm gonna definitely get you done. Okay. You, uh, 10%, mm -hmm. which is only an extra, you know, 4,500. Okay, cool. Um, and then we'll try to keep you under 1,500 a month, bro. All right, and uh, so all I need is the extra 45 until the, instead of the 10. All right, so 14, so you need 14.5? Right. Okay, no problem. Cool. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you so much. All right. <laughs> this is an older video. Um, I'm trying to make a point here, but did anyone else find that exchange on the payment odd considering he just flexed that he paid cash for it? Wait, guys, it gets better. Get it. Whenever you're in it. These are my guys. Uh, all you haters out there, don't don't even try it with my guys. They'll hang up on you. Um, don't even try it. It's stupid. Don't even try it. These are my boys, Bobby, Bobby Wayne's RV. Okay. Aaron truly believes that he's doing this company a favor by shouting them out. And don't you guys dare bother them. Don't you worry. Nobody bothered them, but Mel certainly spilled what really happened that day, didn't she? Oh shit. Oops. All right, is the best place, and I'm gonna give them fucking mad promotion right now because they're supplying me a comfortability I my tour. I told you, um, I'm told you. Have <laughs> He's the, shouting the them out. Incredible range of RVs from, from it looks like from anywhere from like forty nine thousand to in the millions. Um, 
and thank you guys thank you uh, for giving us a comfortable you, tour I get to bring my German Shepherd on tour absolutely bro she about to pop <laughs> <laughs> she is that's why are you thanking him for letting him, letting you bring your German Shepherd on your RV that you just paid cash for, Aaron? Pop, pop again. Okay. Okay. Car insurance. Make photocopy of real quick. Oh yeah, you got that. You got that. All right. Yeah, Mel, Bro, you got gonna, that, right? Gonna, you got gonna, that gonna, shit, gonna, right, Mel? Right, Mel? Right, Mel? So, so what you're gonna do? All right, so uh, all right, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna come back on in a little bit, but you gotta be on live and get on live. I'm not Aaron Hart without you. All right, all right, I will. I'm okay. in. Are you? <laughs> all the insurance is in my phone. I gotta go. I love you. All right, bye, bye. I love you, bro. Somehow badass that RV is. Pretty dope, man. Oh yeah. Like a, it's, a, it's, it's more like a bandwagon, bro. Like a miniature. It's not miniature. It's 30 foot long, bro. Oh, that's yeah. Hell yeah. It's got it's got three sleeping places or four sleeping. But one, sleeping two, bed. three, four, four sleeping places wow. oh, and yeah. shower. Oh, it does it really? Love you, bro. All right, buddy. Please hey, let me know when you get it. All right. All right, buddy. Not the same RV? What do you mean? You posted a picture of yourself in front of it and you said it was yours and you paid cash. What do you mean it's not the same RV? We didn't have time to get another expensive RV, so we had to pay cash for this one, something that most Here's what's wrong with that story, Melanie. Um, your uh, whatever this is, baby daddy, um, took a picture in front of that RV and said cash on the bottom. Again, I'll insert the picture. So that story doesn't make sense, and here's why. My ex-husband has worked in the car sales business for over a decade. He's a financial uh, whatever now. Um, those salesmen will stay there with you until midnight if necessary to make a commission check on something as big as an RV. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Even the owner so selling something like that, they're not going to close, okay? They're going to make that deal. So that's a bunch of bullshit you just said. And I really thought it was funny that you uh, insert here that your job is to be a mommy because I have yet to see that, but I digress. I'm going to give you some assistance. Saw your acoustic video of Pool and Pool on YouTube, which is honestly amazing. Thank you. Aw, big chaos, girl. Michael, oh, what's up? Boy. Goes, you mean Aaron paid for it? Yeah. Yes, I, I, yes, I did. <laughs> Jesus Christ. A woman doesn't have a job. 
I said, you don't have a job. You don't need one. What's mine? Your, your daddy. What else is my job? Sugar daddy. <laughs> Sugar daddy. I'm just kidding. I'm joking around. You're the provider. Your baby's baby provider. Husband provider. Mm-hmm. You're so rude, Aaron. Um, you know what? Get the hell out of here. Bye. You're rude. Come on my fucking lot and infantilizing me. Bye. Mm. Take a hike. I was kidding. Wow, okay. <laughs> You're stupid. I was literally kidding, idiot. I'm not being serious. I was just kidding. Because you guys always call me stupid fucking names. He's Aaron. He's my Aaron, my regular Aaron, I don't consider him anything else but my baby. Well, 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 biggest mistake ever, don't ask. That is a, uh, that is a sale for $36,000 to the RV place. Signed by Melanie. Melanie put this up and took it down real quick. So, um, I find that hysterical. I find that interesting. Um, I knew that this didn't make any sense. Um, and like I said, I know like it's been like a joke with like the 15 people that come to his shows and his behavior and everything and whatever. I, I will get into the tour, uh, if you can call it that another time. Um, I just found this very interesting. The links this man goes to lie to show that he has money he doesn't have, I'll never understand. But instead of planning a tour properly, actually getting yourself together, actually getting mentally prepared for a show to put on a show to entertain people um not just have a whole bunch of randos like 15 to 20 show up to see you to either mock you or just know that you're nick carter's little brother and you might sing i want candy um other than that like really what is the point of a tour for you like there's no new music um, I actually am going to make a video. Um, there's one song, and I, I'm sure the the uh, the legs, the uh, the legs will know. The love enabling gang will know what song I'm talking about. Um, but sadly, I don't know the names of his songs. So um, yeah, uh, one of them uh, I was watching um, his concert and how what a mess it was and. Because I have some experience as far as knowing the ins and outs of having a an artist plan a tour, um, this was a fucking mess. I, I, it was a mess. It was so in, it was so completely um, disorganized, and, and I, it was a mess. But I, like I said, I will I will react to that a different day. But. You know, this is such a sloppy thing. And, and I, I feel like that was just a rental RV. And, and like, just to throw a tour together, you're going through a custody battle. You've lost custody of your child. You're constantly going back and forth with Melanie. Melanie's only, only around when you need something like credit, money for an RV, for a tour that you did, you had no business even starting, Erin. <laughs> It blows my mind how clueless you are as to what's going on around you, but that's none of my business and I've tried to talk to you about it and it goes in one ear and out the other, so I'm done trying to give you any help or advice. Um, but I just find this hysterical. Mel posted this real quick and took it down. It's from the RV place and she's signing for it. Mel, stop being a fool. Wake up and stop being a fool and take care of that gorgeous child that you have. We try to hold on. 
Build this ship together, searching for our home. Despite the storm that hit us, we're still on board. Dancing. 